Carol Baskin. Killed her husband, whacked him. Can't convince me that it didn't happen. Fed him to tigers, they snacking. What's happening? Carol Baskin. Real Talk Tuesday. I'm gonna have a guest and we're gonna talk about some real shit, you know? Because I just feel like some shit you need to talk about, I think this would be an interesting segment so that we can like get it all out in the open. So if you have anything that you want me to talk about on this channel or if you want to come be my guest, comment below. But first, what should they do? Like and subscribe. And yeah, like and subscribe button. and hit the button before we get into the video. <laughs> I'm pausing. I think so. Why do you want to look at yourself? Because so I know what I look like. Don't worry about what you look like, girl. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Okay. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Today's topic, we're going to be talking about boy problems, basically. Relationship issues. Hey. We got plenty to, to say about this one. Fill in the blanks. Hey. Okay. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Okay, we have a, a couple prompters to get us going, so... When do you know that you have had enough? And when I ask these, y'all can comment your answers below. We're gonna chit chat about it, you feel me? For me, at first, it was when I couldn't cry over the subject anymore. But now that I've grown up, I don't wanna get to a point where I have to like say, oh, I've cried enough about it. For me, is you mess up, you mess up, we're done. Period. Right, right. Cause I'm not trying to shed no more tears over these, okay? Right. Period. I feel like when I've had enough is when everybody started looking good. <laughs> because <laughs> what? <laughs> when everybody started looking yeah, good. Yeah, just listen to the logic, right? Okay. Like when I'm focused on one person, like nobody else is cute. They can be fine as hell, and I'll be like, eh, you know this. Mm -hmm. Somebody can be fine as hell, and I'll be like, eh, you know, like that's not who I want. But when everybody start looking good again, and everything like a candy shop. That's when I know I've had enough because obviously, <laughs> obviously something got to give. <laughs> obviously. Yeah. So that's that's pretty much my answer to that. <laughs> no, ma'am. She said everybody started looking good. With how would you rather things to end? Because it's the end. Wow. Nice. We talked about this recently. What the hell's wrong with her? <laughs> I don't like it when it ends on a good note. I don't like it when it ends like ambiguously. I like it to end kind of like, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> because no. if it, not like in a bad way, but I like it to end on more of a negative note. Like we definitely can't be together. No, like, no, we definitely can't be together. This is toxic. Then, 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 I'd rather end like that than to end like, oh yeah, see you soon. And then right, yeah, yeah. just never see them. I don't like that shit. I want us to end on a good note. We can be friends, like everybody that I've ended with on a negative yeah. note, we became, we're like friends now, like both my exes, exactly. like, hey, both my exes, <laughs> it ended negatively, but now we're like, we've accepted that, we've moved on, but when I feel like when it ends on like a positive note, like, yeah, I'll just see you later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. It's like, huh? Cause like, that shit, no, that shit. I don't like, like having bad blood with people. I'm not, I don't want the bad blood, but, but I don't want it to end it's like. It's a bird. That's what keeps going by. There's a bird outside. I'm sorry y'all, if y'all keep seeing me look that way, that's exactly what I'm looking at. But um, I don't like it to end on a bad foot. Because I want them to feel like you can still come to me. Even though we're not together, you can still, you know, yeah. hit me up if you need me. I mean, I've never burned their clothes or anything, but like... I haven't did that. I would rather it end in a way that I know for sure 
that we we're can't not be we, we can't be together. If it ends in any type of way that's not like okay, we're done. That's it. Then I'm gonna feel like it takes longer to get over it. Mm. Because like it's just like loose ends. I feel like I would rather it be like, nah, fuck you. We're done. We're not doing this ever again. Don't hit me up. Boom. And then if we end up being friends, which is what usually happens to me, okay, cool. But I don't like that shit where it's just like. Okay, I don't want to feel like I have to like give you stank faces. No. And again. What did you learn from your biggest heartbreak? Well, from my biggest heartbreak. Hey. I learned that you can do every single thing right and it still won't be right if it's not the right person. first because for a lot of times when you're in a relationship you worry about if they're happy instead of worried about if you're happy yeah put yourself first honey mm -hmm. you gotta be the first one mm -hmm. not them i feel like men put themselves first by default and women do not yeah and that's why it's always portrayed like oh niggas ain't shit but in reality that i feel like men are just wired differently to where like they always have that mindset oh, i need to make sure that i'm good but they're a step ahead at all yeah. times like, if this one don't work out, I got me a shorty right here. <laughs> like, hey! Like, I cut everybody off for you! Right, don't you hate that when you cut everybody off and they start, start acting up? And then when they acting up, you get bored. And then, like, you're like, well, I'm not going to go be like, hey, come back. Like, nah, right. that's just... I'm just be with just Jeffy be here. all my life. Yeah, just be here bored <laughs> by myself. Because I cut everybody off because I thought you were going to act right. And now you're not acting right. And now I'm Period. Just only I hate that. Lonely. That's, like, my biggest pet peeve. When you're trying to engage in a talking stage and like... Don't tell me to cut everybody off and you got holes on the side. I mean, they never ask me to, but I just do it. Like, if I start... If we start to feel like a vibe, you know, then I'll just do it. <laughs> but if they start acting up, that's really irritating. Because I just... Now I'm lonely and bored. <laughs> like, I thought this was going to be something. We were supposed to go to the tree. Yeah, really? You were supposed to oh, be we went on trips. <laughs> <laughs> What are repeated issues you cause in relationships? Yeah, she is. Mine is trust. I feel like I go in with a lot of relationships like no, well, thinking that I'm going to get hurt. And so it's like my guard is kind of up. And it's like, damn, I got to break through everything that the last person put you through. And they don't deserve that. But for me, it's just like, I don't want to get hurt again. So you gonna have to show me like you gonna be through it because you actually want me, which is kind of not fair. People never trust me personally. Because you're a Taurus. Because <laughs> like, I'm a Taurus, I guess. I'm just joking. But I don't know. I'm just a very like chill, go with the flow kind of person. I get along with anybody really. So I feel like that part of my personality makes people not trust me. Like I'm gonna cheat. Right. They may and I've never cheated me. before. Never come close to cheating before. So it's like that's kind of an unfair assessment that I get from people. But an issue that I also cause, I would say, I like to see extreme amounts of consistency too. Like, hello. <laughs> I'm doing a video. Can I call you back in like five minutes? You was about to die. I guess that concludes the video for today, you know? I do have another question. Oh. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck in a woodchuck? It's a good thought, right? About 37. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> like and subscribe, comment below. Tell me what you want to hear next week. We're going to be coming back with another video next week. And that's it. Bye.